Hello, foodies. Today, we are delving into the delicious world of Bohra cuisine with a unique and creamy dessert. Join me as I take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make Bohra Kalamara, a delightful rice and yogurt pudding that's loved by all. This luscious and comforting dessert is a perfect way to end a meal. Let's get started and bring the taste of Bohra Kalamara to your kitchen. But before we begin, let's go over the ingredients you'll need to make this creamy bohra kalamara. These simple ingredients will help us create a soothing and aromatic dessert that's sure to please your taste buds. For our bohra kalamara, you'll need 200 gram or 1 cup basmati rice, soaked for 2 hours, 3 cups water, 750 milliliters or 3 cups milk, Half cup milk powder optional 275 grams or 1 and 1 quarter cup sugar or to taste 500 milliliters or 2 and a half cups yogurt Garnishing, all garnishing is optional 150 gram khoya, mava or dried evaporated milk solids Half cup pomegranate seed Half cup mixed nuts, almond, pistachio, cashew 1 quarter cup raisins, soaked. Few rose petals, washed. Alright, now that we have our ingredients ready, let's dive into the step by step process of creating our Bohra Kalamara. The first thing we need to do is cook the rice. Wash rice and soak in 2 cups water for 2 hours in a thick bottom skillet or overnight in fridge. Boil rice for 10 minutes in soaked water until cooked, all water will dry. Then, add 1 more cup water, cover and cook on slow flame for another 10 minutes until rice are soft and mushy. Rice grains should mesh fully upon pressing. So add more or less water as required to get it to that consistency and texture if need be. Add milk, sugar, milk powder and blend the rice with immersion blender. Do not make a smooth paste, just blend here and there so we have semi blended mixture. Cook for few minutes until thick and then let it cool completely. Meanwhile, blanch almond and slice them. Also chopped other nuts. Now mix whipped yogurt to rice milk mixture. Rice should be cooled completely or yogurt will release water. Add half raisin and khoya dried evaporated milk solids in the kalmara and save rest for garnishing. Garnish with nuts, khoya dried evaporated milk solids, raisin, pomegranate and rose petals. And there you have it. Our soothing and creamy Bohra Kalamara is now ready to be enjoyed. This comforting dessert is a delightful way to end any meal and is sure to leave everyone wanting more. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe tutorial and that it inspires you to make your own Bohra Kalamara at home. The blend of yogurt, rice, and aromatic flavors makes it a truly special and indulgent treat. Mmm, the smooth and creamy texture, along with the hint of rose petals, makes this kalmara absolutely divine. That concludes today's video. If you loved this Bohra Kalmara recipe, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more unique and delightful recipes. And as always, let us know in the comments what recipes you'd like to see next. Happy cooking, and I'll see you in the next video.